Hello PSI Gamer fans, and welcome to Fire Emblem. Today, I'm going to be attempting a Fire Emblem 7 Iron Man challenge in Hector Hard Mode. I really enjoy this game, it's one of my favorite games right now, but wow, it, it can be a real pain to play this game, so let's just see how it goes. If you're unfamiliar with Fire Emblem, it's like a tactical, turn-based role-playing game. You control an army, you kill people, and the game likes to be a pain in the butt all the time. But it's okay, because I'm really good at the game, so it's fine. Hector's just like the best lord. He's like one of the best Fire Emblem characters in general. HP, strength, defense. Really good start for a level up, too. Alright, let's see how this goes. This guy's gonna try and shoot Hector. He's gonna mess up horribly. Hector's gonna throw an axe at him. Hector's gonna be a Chad. That thief is gonna break into that room, but that's okay. As long as this hits, we should be fine. Awesome. And I'm just gonna have Matthew break down this wall. He's not very strong, but he'll do it eventually. This guy made the foolish mistake of attacking Hector, because his wolf bail is like ridiculously strong. Especially against armored units. And that gives Hector his second level up. And he's gonna get more health, more strength, more speed. It's very nice, actually. We're gonna get some healing. This guy's gonna break into the armory. Or not the armory, that guy's gonna break into the treasure room and steal that gem. But little does he know that Matthew can just go in there and steal it back. Awesome. And then since this thief is right here, I'm also going to steal his lockpick, just because I can. I'm then going to place Hector on this column, I think, just for good defense. Have him heal a little bit. And wait for that archer to come up here. This guy's going to take my lockpick back from me, but he will not be able to keep it. This should work out pretty well. Yeah. Yeah, that soldier might do some damage to Matthew, but I think it'll be fine. Shouldn't deal more than, like, 11 damage. 12 damage, okay. I forgot about Weapon Triangle. I'm not even a real Fire Emblem player, apparently. Still, Matthew should be fine. The Thief won't attack him. The Thief will just let that Archer out. And then Hector... ...can mess this guy up. This guy's going to steal my Vulnerary because he's annoying. I'm going to try once again to hit this guy. I'm going to succeed. I'm going to have Matthew heal just because... They might attack him? I'm not sure. Nope. And Hector's able to finish off that annoying guy. This thief is going to continually harass me. will not leave me alone. Oh my god, so satisfying. The most annoying thief in the entire game is dead. Anyways, you're, Ma you're not Marcus Loss's assassins, are you? You're too good, too professional. Nothing like those idiots over there. You've no need to know, little Lord Hector. A fool like you sneaking out of the country alone. You'll go missing, never to return. Your body will never be found. Tidy story, eh? Tisk tisk. Looks like your luck's run out. Our luck? What are you? You see, I'm about as angry as I've ever been. I doubt that even a dozen of you could slow me down. Prepare to die. Owned. Ouch. Owned. And then he died. Alright, now we're on chapter 12, which is... This one's pretty simple. Pretty cut and dry. You just gotta take out all these guys. Most of them are Pegasus Knights for some reason. That's just a hex remote thing, I think. And there's this guy. I wish you could recruit him. He's so cool. And I'm just going to set up Hector and Oswin here to protect these guys because they're kind of weaklings. 
And finally, I'm gonna have Marcus take the front lines because, well, he's a Chad. Let's see how this positioning goes. This man is going to attack Marcus. He's going to fail. It's gonna be hilarious. Critical hit, very unnecessary, but very awesome. And this Pegasus Knight's gonna attack Bartra, but like, Bartra is so good in this game. Like, can you even kill Bartra? I think I'm gonna have Hector take down this fellow right here, because I don't want him in my area. I'm going to have Oswin take down this Pegasus Knight. I'd be highly surprised if he missed. He did not. And then I'm gonna give Sarah some XP. I'm gonna have her cure Hector's injuries here. I'm also gonna have Rebecca stop at this village over here because she can pick up a secret book. So yeah, Loan will get a hit here. This, The archers in Hector mode are like way tougher than they need to be, I feel like. And then we're gonna have Dorcas take a hit here. This is the part where it could mess up, but luckily Dorcas doesn't mess up. And finally we can finish him off with Eliwood. Boned. All right, pretty solid turn, all things considered. This guy's gonna make an attack on Ellawood, but like, I'm not too worried about it. Okay, that's a little bit unlucky. And then Ellawood got a critical, which is even more unlucky because that cleared the way for another person to attack him. But I'm sure it will be fine because they can't reach him. And finally, this guy is just going to kill himself on Marcus. Owned. Man, this game would be a lot harder without Marcus. Anyways, I'm gonna have Ellawood do a little bit of a heal because he's dying. Not sure how that happened. I'm gonna have Bartra go throw an axe at this guy. Of course he's gonna miss because he's a loser. I'm going to have Loen be actually useless. Okay, I think we may need Marcus to come in here and help us out with this one. Nice. Okay, not nice, but it's fine. And besides, we can just have Loan finish this guy off, and it should be very nice. Bartra will kill. He can handle it. No! Stupid axe characters not knowing how to hit. Whatever, I guess we have to rely on Marcus again. Alright, let's see. Oswin can take down this guy. Okay. That was lucky, because that would not have killed normally. Very nice. This guy's going to attack Matthew. Matthew's just bait, though, because Matthew's really good at dodge tanking. All right, let's see what Matthew can actually do. I don't think Matthew's gonna get hit here. He's not gonna do too much damage, but weapon triangle advantage is pretty nice. This guy's just gonna keep harassing Matthew, but like, he's gonna keep trying to harass Matthew. And then I'm gonna have Marcus go up here with his sword and take down this guy. All right, let's see what this guy does. He's really making the mistake of attacking Marcus. Terces, what are you waiting for? Let me show you boys how it's done. Miss. Luckily, Marcus actually won't get the kill, and then we can have someone else finish him off for XP. Let's get some chip damage in with Rebecca. Why not? Nice. Rebecca's helping. Alright, I don't actually think anyone can really hurt this guy very well, so I think... Oh, Hector can. Well, that seems nice. Oh, you missed. Okay. Well, I'm not gonna risk it. Like, this guy takes out a lot of my people really well. Um, so I'm just gonna finish him off with... I'm gonna finish him off with Marcus. Owned. Oh, this was not so easy as it seemed. Alright, chapter 13. This chapter is an interesting one, because we get our first prim We can get our first, uh, recruit, which is Gee. I'm also gonna have Oswin take down this snag, because then I can have Loan cross the river, and then he can go visit that village. Alright, seems like a good first turn. This guy is going to try and kill Marcus for some reason. He will not succeed, if you hadn't guessed. This guy's gonna throw stuff at Loan. It's gonna hurt a little bit, but it's fine. I was gonna have Loan go over there, but I think Oswin's better suited for that job, so I'm gonna have Loan head back. And I can give some healing practice to Sarah here. I'm actually just gonna leave these people in this exact formation, because this seems like the best idea. Then Bandit and Rebecca are gonna have an archer battle. It'll be very cool. And now it's my turn. First of all, I'm gonna have Rebecca use her bow to, like, actually murder this Pegasus Knight. Except not really, because Rebecca sucks. Then I'm gonna have Barcher come in here with his axe, finish off this guy. Dead. And then I'm actually gonna have Matthew finish off the archer. Bet you didn't expect that one. Oswin is going to, like, end this guy's life. 
That guy got to the village before we could, so we didn't get our mine, but like, we don't need mines. You can use them to like glitch out the game and take control of the enemies, but this is going to be a, like a legit playthrough. Dorcas the Beast, and then Bartra the other beast. Bartra got a level up. Luck and health. Whatever. Bartra's gonna murder this Pegasus Knight because he's built different. Here comes this guy, who's gonna deal four damage to Marcus. Here comes Marcus, who's going to deal um, 44 damage back. And up here I'm gonna have Oswin step in this village before those bandits take it over. And he can get a torch. That'll be helpful in the next level. <laughs> Alright, perfect. Now, we can talk to Guy. Hold on, I know you. I have Guy now. He's pretty solid, he can do cool tricks with his sword, like killing people in one turn. To be fair, they are only an archer, but he's pretty helpful in this chapter, before his killing edge breaks at least. I'm gonna have Loan take down this archer. Alright, we're moving kind of slowly, but this isn't an LTC playthrough or anything, this is just... This is just Fire Emblem, where we try not to die. And so far we're succeeding. And we can get a support for Eloid and Hector. I think Gee can handle himself here. Let's see. Oh look, he did just fine. I'm a little worried about Oswin. But honestly, I think he, as long as he hits this guy, he should be totally fine. Oswin's first level up. Oh, level 10 Oswin. Wow. People love Oswin for a reason. I mean, I love Oswin for a reason. The fools do not stop coming. Ella would take out this guy. I'm trying to give XP to my lords because in an Iron Man challenge, they're the only characters who are gonna necessarily be consistent. As in, they're the only characters who won't die. Or who can't die. Another day, another kill for Oswin. Uh-oh, Eloid's getting attacked. Oh, but it's not an issue. And let's see if Bartra can finish this guy off. I'm not probably going to use either Axe Pro from the start throughout the game, but if I do, I'm going to use Bartra, because I want to recruit everyone that I possibly can, and I'd like to recruit Carla, even if I'm not going to use her, just because... just for the completion. This foolish Pegasus Knight at one health just at decided to attack Oswin, of all people. This fool. He just gave Oswin another level up. Let's see what we got here. Health? Res. Well, the last level up was good, so that kind of evens it out. Oswin is actually on a rampage right now. And then, of course, I'm going to feed the kill to Hector, because I don't want to get the Lloyd level later on. You have to level up your lords, or otherwise you get a worse level. It's just the boss, and I'm going to have Hec I'm going to have- I'm going to have Matthew pass him this gem. Then I'm going to have him take a trip to the armory. I'm going to have him sell the secret book for $4,000, and the gem for $2,500. Then I'm going to have him- Buy, I don't know, like a sword, a javelin, and a hand axe. That's probably good enough for now. We can always... He's got his inventory full anyway, so he can't buy anything else. Alright, it's time to take on boys. I'm gonna have Hector... wait. I'm gonna have Elowood sit near him for the support bonus. I'm also gonna have Oswin go to the armory to buy some more stuff. I think we could use another... I'm gonna get another iron sword. I'm gonna get another javelin. I think Oswin already has a javelin. He does, and he can't hold anything else, so I think that's fine. I think Dorcas and Bartra might be able to help out here, too. We'll see. Alright, I think that's fine. Come on out, we're here. Well, 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 you survived, I see. You'll find that I'm a bit tougher than those fools you faced before. What have you done with Marcus Santarus? You want to know? You'll have to best me first. Nope. And then Hector gets a critical hit and destroys him. You've beaten me, but you're too late. <laughs> Alright. Hector gets another level. That's good. 
Level 7 Hector. Strength, skill, health. I'm not complaining. And then we're just going to send Hatcher in here. We got everything we wanted out of this level. And we can do a side quest to get Merlinus, and we will. <laughs>